going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video we got episode number 12 of the no money spent series and in today's video we're opening up our free legend pack and hoping that we get michael vick or demarcus Ware. now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for what 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it we are starting out with exactly what you probably came to this video for free legend pack from the competitive pass literally just finished up a solo battle where i knocked out a bunch of statistical objectives that we needed to get xp in the comp pass and if i did the math correctly we should have earned enough xp in that game to unlock the level 27 reward in the comp pass which is a free legend card and it's an 88 overall guaranteed now so we have three legends that came out today one ltd and brian finnernan the set legends demarcus ware and of course michael vick and then last week bruce smith and shannon sharp so whatever we get we're we're going to get coins from it more than likely but we really want one of the new legends that came out today because they're obviously worth more value and if we can get Vic on the no money spent squad that would be huge so here it is if you guys were unaware once you unlock or earn this pack you can't save it it's going to open up right away as soon as I hit this reward tab button if I hit R1 we're going to find out exactly what we got fingers crossed I'm not going to lie I'm a little bit nervous here and let's see we got Shannon Sharp. Gotta say, that's a little disappointing there. Number one, because we don't really need the card, but number two, I just really had this envision, or I envisioned, I should say, that we were gonna pull Michael Vick. So we'll get like a cool 300K from this, which is certainly gonna help out the No Money Spent Squad. Uh, I think we're at right around like 420,000 coins or so. We also have some free Twitch drop packs to open up and some other free field pass packs that we've earned in this episode. We're at 421K. Again, we're definitely gonna sell the Shannon sharp we'll show you the lineup if you missed it from the last episode we definitely made some improvements by renting out some ltds we're now going to have more coins to go ahead and do that again with maybe two or three other cards well i should say one or two other cards given the price on those ltds let's go ahead and open up what we got so there is a open directory twitch drop weekend going on right now you can earn four free packs per day though i think there is an issue with them in that you're only getting like two out of the four because i think these are two from yesterday i think these are two from today and then also on thursday ea went live randomly right before the kansas city and detroit game for like an hour or two and you could get dropped so i got some from that as well we got our ultimate kickoff content also i haven't played any of the solos really haven't worked towards any of the rewards so we got a free 85 overall card on the way uh, from the ultimate kickoff promo we have these free brandon cooks and amani awurie cards where you can get one up to an 85 overall overall and then it could potentially bump up to an 86 overall based on whoever wins the fan vote which i think it's going to end up being brandon cooks uh, but you do get both of these cards i think they actually can both be upgraded to an 85 overall you're going to earn these upgrade tokens within the field pass for ultimate kickoff that will upgrade them and you just go to their upgrade tab to do so so we'll probably getting some help over at wide receiver very very soon uh, with that brandon cooks card we got a 76 plus pack which is from the field pass one of the very first level rewards and we get a 76 so the plus obviously was very very silent there let's open up this star elite pack i haven't really had much luck with any free packs so far okay got a little excited because it was an elite but then it was an 80 which isn't overly helpful and two elites and an 81 okay that's not a bad free pack six free twitch drop packs all different types it appears here the community pack the mad alive pack and a regular pack we'll breeze through these and just see if we can get lucky with one of them anything that's an elite out of a, a twitch drop pack to me is a w so far i think over on my main account i got an 80 or maybe an 81 once otherwise i haven't had any luck i got a little excited there i saw the ultimate kickoff uh artwork on that card and thought maybe we got an elite there but we did not unfortunately and we're still elite lists in these twitch drop packs two more to go two mad alive packs again i think these were from the thursday night quick afternoon stream by ea and there's also nothing in that we're just loading up on golds here last chance 
Can we walk it off? And indeed, we cannot. We do get another ultimate kickoff card. Maybe those can play a part at some point. We're going to have to kind of go through our binder and see if any of the cards that we have have any value because we have a ton of golds. Like, I've been telling you guys to save them, and hopefully you've been listening. I have 190 golds. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them just yet. In some way, shape, form, or fashion, we should be able to turn them into content, uh, whether it's building out maybe team builders or saving them for another promo that has upgrade sets where you can turn like 78s and 79s into lower overall promo cards and eventually kind of work our way up and in the comparison or conversion it probably wouldn't be worth it but i'm also not about to quick sell these nor sell them all individually so we just got a binder full of junk at the end of the day here i do also believe we have a platinum card or two that we can go ahead and sell um, from cards that we've made upgrades uh, you know with or the positions were upgraded let's go ahead and sell this shannon sharp i'll, I'll list it for 294 as well seems like a lot of other people are doing about that same price Honestly, it'd probably be a little bit smarter to maybe hang on to it until after the weekend ends. The card might go back up in price, but I'm going to be impatient there. You guys should not do uh, exactly what I just did there and maybe wait a couple days to start selling your cards. Uh, so that's going to generate us some coins. Let's find these cards that we can go ahead and quick sell. We're probably going to start getting rid of these rookie premieres as well. You don't get a ton of training for them. Like one card gives you 100, 170 training, but these cards are starting to be phased out on my lineup. So they're just sitting in the binder collecting dust. We might as well try to turn them into training and maybe use the training on some, some mystery packs or something. I do have this Jordan Mailata. He's going to get replaced, but I'm not able to replace him just yet. There is a left tackle in Andre Dillard from the Ultimate Kickoff promo, which we're going to be able to get for free from the Ultimate Kickoff field pass. That will likely be my new left tackle, and then once it is, Jordan Mailata will go ahead and get quick sold. Uh, I think I had this quick sell, the Young Ho Ku card, because we got a brand new kicker there. And I think that might be it. I thought we had maybe one other one in there. I guess now, let's see if we have any other like random mutt tips or things down at the bottom of our binder that we might be able to quick sell for coin. And it looks like we do. Guys, make sure you're saving all of your strategy items. We will be dropping a video over on the main channel soon, going over the best strategy items. But also, we're probably going to see blue, maybe even purple strategy, strategy items very soon. That's a, a guess, but I'm hoping it happens. And these green ones and even the silver ones could be part of an upgrade set. They could become very valuable. So don't be quick selling uh, any of your strategy items. Just hang on to them for now and, and we'll give you further instruction later on. So we got 23K from that stuff that's in our binder up to 444,000 coins with that Shannon Sharp. Actually, it just sold right in front of us. So now we're at 709K. There's a lot of really, really good cards out there, especially like 87 overall legends that are fairly inexpensive currently over on my main channel not too long ago we put out a video going over some of those cards and the ones that you could pick up and they're you know right around like 200 250k at the very most so we might explore and come back with an episode tomorrow episode number 13 uh, with some additional upgrades i'm not 100 percent sold on trying to spend all my coins right now with part two of ultimate kickoff on the way and team of the week is a weekly program starting on wednesday there's more cards plenty of cards coming out plenty of opportunity to make upgrades so we don't want to rush it unless it's really a card we need like i've kind of had my eye on that jerry rice aka card because a slot apprentice that might be a card we pick up this weekend so maybe we have an episode again tomorrow but there is the team for now no upgrades to the squad but a lot of coins that we've generated are made because of that free legend pack within the competitive pass and we're going to get back to grinding out our field passes in the next episode again upgrades more free packs hopefully thank you for tuning in this one my name is popular stranger i'm out peace